let's talk about the 100 envelope challenge and how you can save $5,050, just half of this. And before we even talk about that, one problem that a lot of people have with saving money is that whenever they save money, they can't actually hold on to it. So they may be saving money and then once they save $1,000 or $2,000, then they take that money and they go spend it on something nice, right? They go buy like shoes or clothing or they go on a trip, vacations, something. But the point is that most people, when they save money, once they actually save some money, they usually tend to spend it because now they think that, okay, you know what, I've saved this money and so I deserve to go and spend it. But usually, all that really does is it puts you back at square one where you just don't have any money and now you've got to save and do that cycle all over again. So I think this 100 envelope challenge is really good. It can actually save you some money quickly and you can save up to $5,000 and I'm gonna be explaining and breaking down how that works in this video. Now, before I tell you guys how this works and how you can actually pull this off very quickly, just a quick reminder, if you are new to the channel, my name is Ian and on this channel, I talk about ways to make money, ways to save money, ways to invest your money. I talk about bank accounts, credit cards, just about everything to do with personal finance. So if you like these videos, if you like these types of topics, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. It's 100% free, won't cost you anything. Also, be sure to subscribe with the notifications on and that way you'll never miss any of the future updates of when I post new videos on this channel. Also, if you guys ever want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one about this or just about anything else, you can message me on Instagram. The link is down below. But with that said, let's jump into how you can save $5,050 with the 100-day envelope challenge. Now, to pull this off, all you need is to buy 100 cheap envelopes. So you're going to go to like Walmart or Amazon or somewhere. You can buy 100 envelopes. And on these envelopes, you're going to number them from 1 to 100. So you're going to have like envelope number one, then envelope number two, then envelope number three, and it goes all the way up to 100. Now, by the way, guys, this strategy of saving $5,050 is going to take you around, I'd say around three months and 10 days. And I know you're probably saying, well, Ian, I'm not gonna sit around here and save and wait for three days and or three months and 10 days to save this $5,000. And this is what most people will say, but here's the thing, right? Most people are already living paycheck to paycheck and most people don't have $1,000 in savings. So $5,050, like half of this right here, is probably gonna be more money than you've ever saved up. And once you pull this off once, then you're gonna find that it's easier and easier to do over and over again. So if you can save $5,050 in just a little bit over three months, then you're gonna be happy and you're gonna want to do it again and maybe you'll do it next year and before you know it, you'll be doing this like two times a year and then before you know it, you'll just be saving consistently because now you find it really easy to do so. So this is actually gonna help you to develop a really good habit of saving money. And it's also going to help you to save this $5,000 and $50 in just about three months. So after you label these envelopes from one to 100, you're simply going to put the amount of money that corresponds with the number in each envelope every single day, and you're going to do this consecutively until you get to 100. So for example, today is day number one, or day one of the 100 envelope challenge. That means that you're gonna take up envelope number one, and you're going to put $1 in there. Tomorrow, it's gonna to be day number two of the 100 envelope challenge. And so you're gonna take envelope number two and you're gonna put $2 in there. The next day is gonna be day number three and you're gonna take envelope number three and you're gonna put $3 in there and you're gonna continue doing this every single day until you get to envelope 100. Now, I know you may be saying, well, Ian, this sounds really good. I can definitely start this tomorrow, but what happens when I get to the day when I need to put $100 in or $80 in and I don't actually have that amount of money. And that's actually a good question, but you can actually tweak this challenge to make it work for you. Now, here's something that you don't wanna do, right? What you don't want to do is you don't want to have like $100 up front and then you're thinking, okay, you know what? I'm gonna put $1 in this envelope, $2 in this envelope, and then I'm gonna do like all the envelopes for the next 10 or 20 days. And you don't wanna do that because you want to force yourself into the habit of putting money in one of these envelopes for the next 100 days. So here's what you should do instead. 
If you're on number five or day number six, and let's say you get to that day and you have an extra $50 or an extra $70 or an extra $80, instead of using the number for that day, you can actually pick that envelope that matches with the amount of money that you have for that day. So if you're on day number 10 and you have an extra $50, instead of using envelope 10 and only putting $10 in there, you can grab envelope number 50 and put $50 in there. And then next week, if you have $100, you grab envelope number 100 and you put $100 in there. And then you go back to the other envelopes and you keep working like this. And this is just a fun and easy way to do it where you're not feeling pressured because you're just simply putting whatever amount of money you have every single day in an envelope that corresponds with that number. And you're going to find that this is going to be a really easy challenge. And the hardest part of this is gonna actually be consistent and just consistently putting money in an envelope every single day. So the whole point here is to ensure that every single day for these 100 days, you put some money in one of these envelopes and this is how you can actually, or you can easily save uh, $5,050 in just over three months. Now, again, apart from saving $5,000 or $5,050 in three months, the main thing that I really like about this challenge is that it's going to help you to develop a good habit, right? So for example, there was a study done, it showed that your brain or on average people's brains take anywhere from around 18 days to 66 days to form a habit. Or actually it takes 18 days to start forming the habit and then on average 66 days for this new behavior to become automatic. So after doing this, after saving some money and putting some money in an envelope for 100 days, you're gonna have an automatic new habit. This automatic new behavior is just saving money and not spending money. And so at the end of this challenge, you're actually going to want to keep on doing this and this is going to help you to possibly save more money or be consistent at saving more money than you've ever done before in your life. So that is actually the main reason why I like the 100 envelope challenge and this is why I think this is a good challenge for just about anyone who wants to save money or anyone that wants to develop good habits of saving money. So if you just wanna save $5,000 in just around three months or if you want to develop good habits for saving money, I think you should definitely use or try this challenge and comment down below guys, let me know if you've ever heard about this before, let me know if you've ever tried it or if you've ever done anything similar, let me know the most you've ever saved before. Also, if you guys like this kind of content, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, I'll really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss the updates of when I post new videos. If you wanna to talk to me one-on-one -on -one about this or just about anything else that I talk about here on the channel, feel free to message me on Instagram, the link is down below in the description. Well, that said, all the best with saving money and developing good money habits and I will see you guys very soon soon in the next one.